Today I wanted to bring you a small little video on the Diamondback DB15 6.5 Grendel. This gun retailed me about, uh, I think it was $900 total. It was $100 in bullets and $100 in a scope, some in shipping. The gun ran around $700 total before taxes. Um, I will try to throw a link if I can find it again. It's been kind of hard to find this specific rifle lately. But, <clears throat> um, so far I think it's a pretty good gun. I've had it for a couple months. The only main problem I've ran into so far is these bullets are the only ones you can get for a decent price for an AR, uh, <clears throat> when you're shooting a lot of them at least because they run about $5 for a box of 20. These right here are uh, about 30. Those, as you can see, is about 22. Um, now, when I got this gun, <clears throat> I bought the Wolf ammo because I thought that was regular ammo and found out that they are reloads. And see, that's what they look like. Um, the gun came with the two mags and the rifle itself that was it but seven hundred dollars was relatively cheap when i bought this for a 6.5 grendel now you can definitely get ar-15s for cheaper but in a 6.5 it's kind of hard to find them and uh <clears throat> figured i'd show you guys these tend to jam up pretty bad these I've never shot and I do like to run those because they work pretty well but let me show you how it performs for uh, shooting wise Now that was $30 and 10 seconds. Whew. Whew, barrel's a little warm. Well, I believe my verdict for this gun is that if you want a beginner AR and if you want to be able to go hunting with it like deer and bigger animals like that in certain states that require over a 243 this is legal so 
it would be good for that but you gotta understand if you want to target shoot with it these bullets right here this wolf's are the cheapest ones you can get at this moment that i can find which are five dollars a box now there are not really many brands that make bullets like these or these for less than 20 or 30 dollars for a pack of 20. so a 556 would be better if you just want to target shoot it but if you want to actually go hunting with it and stuff like that like i did it would be a good ar for it but in reality most of the time you don't really need an ar to hunt stuff like deer or anything like that but um so from that these bullets did great none not a single jam uh same with these these are the 30 these are the 20 and these are the five dollar box these jammed twice if you want to target shoot with it you can because you can get these bolts for five dollars a piece but or five dollars a 20 pack but even though you can get them for that cheap they are dirty they are reloads and they jam frequently um when i first started shooting this gun before i put a decent amount of rounds uh probably about 60 80 rounds through it um the gun would jam two to three times every single time with these bullets. Now this is the first time I've ever shot with these or these because I, it hasn't gotten to a hunting season since. And I wanted to save these for hunting season, but I figured I'd show you guys what it was for a YouTube video. And as you can see though, it's got a little bit of markings on it. Um, it's got a lot of residue in there and I've noticed it getting a lot more residue from these than these but if diamondback so far this gun is a good gun but you do have to run decent ammo with it to be able to reliably use it now it did come with this 10 rounder this 28 rounder so uh but another downfall of the 6.5 grandel these are hard to find unless you buy it with the gun i have not been able to find anything over a i think 15 rounder since i bought the gun um i've also never been able to find a plastic mag for it that i wanted so i will be probably getting a 556 five, soon but that one's probably going to be a build i really do like the gun the caliber is a iffy choice but Diamondback so far I haven't had any problems out of it other than the jamming with the cheap ass bullets which is to be blamed on the bullets in my opinion um, other than that I would recommend a Diamondback for a first AR because they are a lower budget intermediate rifle they're not exactly considered a beginner rifle because you can get rifles a lot cheaper that probably do a lot less but <clears throat> you also sacrifice stuff when you go for cheaper and so far i really really enjoy this gun um but i think that is all i have to say on it and if you like the video like and subscribe leave a comment to let me know what you think and i will see you in the next one